And I was sitting down this afternoon, looking through wrestling news, seeing if there was anything that drew my attention that I might supersede the one I was planning on doing, and god damn it, wouldn't you know. Um, Trent Acid found dead, age 29. Um, you can read the full article, I'll put a link to it, but apparently found dead in his home by his mother. Uh, if I understand it correctly, I don't know all the details, um... Anyone familiar with his past, I'm sure that you can speculate on possible cause of death, but um, just as some form of respect, I'm not going to speculate at the moment, wait until further news comes out, but uh, I think we have a pretty good idea of what it probably is. But it's a goddamn shame anyways, man. I mean, Trent Acid, extremely underrated independent worker, I mean... Like, if you ask most fans of indie wrestling to name, like, even their top 20 indie guys over the last decade, I mean, Trent Acid probably wouldn't even be mentioned once. And it's a shame, I mean, he was part of the Backseat Boys, probably one of the best independent tag teams over the last 10 years easily. Um, definitely one of the bell, the definitely one of the better uh, singles competitors on the indies. Hell, hell, just in pro wrestling, same with... The Bagsy Boys one of the better tag teams in the last decade on any level of wrestling. And it's just a shame that he never, like, got a break or something or never made it to, like, TNA or WWE full-time or just got a break and got on the mainstream. Because maybe, you know, you can sit here and speak and say, oh, well, maybe if he got into, like, the WWE or something, that maybe something like this wouldn't have happened, but, you know... I mean, it's just funny like that. You never know. And speculating on it really won't do any good, but... I mean, it's sad to see him go. I mean, Trent Asselic is one of my favorite indie guys. Uh, one Definitely one of the more interesting ones. I liked all of his characters. I mean, the Backseat Boys character. um, His holy Trent Acid gimmick that he had in JCW as just an awesome heel. I mean, yeah, I understand some people might not like it that much compared to his other stuff, but it, it was a good gimmick. And I mean, his stuff in Ring of Honor, unfortunately I haven't seen much of it, but I've seen a few matches he had with Homicide, I forget at what shows, but those were excellent. And probably my favorite match of his in Ring of Honor from Death Before Dishonor 03, uh, when he teamed with the SAT to face Special K in, I guess it would be a eight-man tag. I mean, that was a hell of a match, and people don't really talk about it. But, you know, I mean, the guy was also very accomplished. I mean, quick rundown. I mean, Big Japan Pro Wrestling World Ch or Junior Heavyweight Champion, pardon me. Combat Zone, he held the Iron Man Championship. He was three-time World Junior Champion. Four-time Tag Team Champion. Won Best of the Best 2002. Uh, Jersey All Pro Wrestling, three-time tag team champions, twice with Johnny Cashmere, once with Billy Ryle. Um, JCW, one-time heavyweight champion, uh, Pro Wrestling Unplugged champion, uh, ROH tag team champion. I mean, the guy was fucking accomplished. I mean, he wasn't just some no-name indie jobber, he was fucking accomplished. And to see him go so young, I mean, only 29 years old... I mean, damn, only 29. It's pretty fucking young in the wrestling business. I mean, most of the guys that are big now, they're in their freaking 40s. And this guy had more charisma, more talent, arguably, than most of these people that were twice his age. And I guess it's a shame he never got a big break and got to go on to one of the bigger companies. But, you know, like I said, I won't do any good to speculate about it now. Trent Acid, uh, wherever the hell you are, my brother, rest in peace. We're definitely going to miss you. Condolences go out to his friends and family. I'm out.